In this element focus, we are going to take a look at the progress element. The progress element is very helpful if you want to show progress. For example, if you have a project to indicate how far the project has developed for 10% completed or it's 50% completed or 100% completed. On the other hand, progress bar can also be helped to indicate improvement. For example, that you have provided a service to people and after you have provided that service, their revenue has increased by 10% or that 50% of your clients have benefited from your service, something like that. Let's talk about maybe weight loss and how this person has improved their body composition. What I'll do is I go to add elements up here and I look for my progress element. Click and drag and I drop it where I want it to be. There's a few things to note about the progress element. Let's start by clicking on it and we go have a look at what's up here under the progress icon. Click on the settings and the first option you will get is this percentage. You can set it, of course, all the way down to 1% and all the way up to 100%. If you just want to show relation from one bar to the next, you can deactivate the show percentage over here. Styling options for your topography, as usual, can all be done here with topography. And if you want to know more about that, check out our text element focus here on the YouTube channel. Colors. Let's click on that. And you've got three options here. The first one is your text, which is currently set at white. And then the bar, our color over here. You can change it by clicking on various swatches, or you can choose a custom color from the picker or add your own code. The background over here is this gray bar here. If you don't want the bar for the background, simply drag it all the way down to zero opacity, 100% transparency. Now, one thing to note, if you go and you click inside it, you will see two handles appear on the left and on the right. If you grab and drag this, it will reduce the size of the element within the container. But note that this does not change the percentage, only the size. The percentage value will remain the same. What you can do now is that you can align the element within the container. If you click now on the alignment, you can put it all the way to the right, all the way to the left or to the middle. Let's add some color again to the background so you can see what is happening over there. And let's also make the bar a more visible color. So here again, click on it. You see the handles. Let's do the alignment all the way to the right, all the way to the left and to the middle. The shortcut key for that is to hold control on your keyboard or command on a Mac and then use your left and right arrow keys to cycle through the various states and easily align it to the place where you want it to be. Let's put it on the left. Adding multiple progress elements is as easy as copying them. And we always recommend that if you work with elements like these, that you do one, style it completely, and then you can duplicate the rest. From here, you can make changes. And you can also change the text by double clicking on the text and typing within the bar. If for some reason you decide later when you've done all the styling that you need to make changes to it, for example, we put it again at full container width, we change the colors. Then it's as easy as right click on the element, choose copy, and then right click on the other elements and choose paste the styles. If you go into your tablet responsive view, you will find the applicable controls for that element. You can disable it here and it will not display in tablet view. And you can make changes to your topography, alignment options, as well as padding and margins. And that applies also for the mobile view.